Well, we spend so much time as anglers talking about fishing for summer bass offshore and deep. Well, there are situations that are gonna drive those bass shallow even when those water temps are in the upper 80s or low 90s. Number one is poor oxygen content. You may be thinking, Steve, I'm not gonna be taking an oxygen testing kit to the lakes with me. How do I know if that oxygen is, is not in good shape? One, if that water is not really moving. This is especially true with smaller bodies of water. It kind of gets more stagnant as the summer goes along. Maybe it hasn't rained much. There's just not, not much flow coming into it. That's gonna drive those bass shallow because they have to get up there where that oxygen level is better. Also, if there's not good light penetration, okay, that water gets dirtier, murkier as the summer goes on and boat traffic kicks things up, that light cannot penetrate as far down into the water column and therefore the deeper weeds, deeper vegetation cannot produce oxygen. So you see either of those situations, the fish could definitely be moving shallow. And that leads right into the next one. If you're fishing some really stained water, some really dirty water, even if that water is hot, go shallow. I think of an algae bloom that I ran across fishing a lake in central Wisconsin. The water looked like bright neon green Kool-Aid. I don't know if I had ever seen an algae bloom like that before. We started catching really good bass in just inches of water and the water temps were in the upper 80s. It was crazy, but it's because they were up there needing to get into that better oxygenated water that was up really, really shallow. The next one is one of my favorite, and if that is you're fishing a body of water, a river, lake, a pond, and it has heavy mats in that late summer, if the, that matted vegetation just looks very lush, green, thick, and healthy, that is going to hold a population of bass shallow underneath it and around it all summer long, even on the hottest of days. Presentations are gonna be a little bit different. You know, I like to throw a frog, but maybe you like to punch through those mats, but you can guarantee there's gonna be some good shallow fish when you can find very healthy mats in the summertime. And this last one is another one I look for all the time, and that is some sort of current. Uh, let's say you've got a reservoir and the dam operators are really pulling through. Maybe you got a lot of boat traffic out there. Maybe you've had some heavy rains and it's pushing water through the tributaries into the main river system. Maybe you've got a lot of wind. All of those are gonna create current and current makes oxygen levels much better for the fish. So this is when you can start locating those areas that just have a lot of current to them. Like I said, it can either be wind-driven, created man-made by boats and boat wakes, or natural current. And if you can find all of those kind of converging together, you've got a portion of your lake or river that's just gonna be highly oxygenated, and that is gonna pull fish shallow. And hey, if you'd like to watch a video that really talks about the number one key for all of bass fishing, no matter the lure, no matter the presentation, it's something we have to keep in mind through the entire presentation. Go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.